Joshua Thomas Beauregard. Nice to meet you, Captain. Honor to meet you. Have a seat. I'd offer you coffee, but uh, there is none, as you might imagine. I find that most disconcerting. I enjoy my coffee, as you know. Uh, I have a few moments uh, to talk with you. Uh, I have some affairs I must attend to shortly. Captain Breckenridge and I have been scouring the countryside trying to get the limits of the Yankee cavalry. They seem to be everywhere. Well, I, I know that uh, we had a, a brief skirmish with them near Hall's shop earlier today. And uh, I'm hoping to get some reports from from that. I do know from your cavalry's reports that uh, the, the 18th Corps is near Hanover. Yes, sir. But I fear that's a ploy in order to draw my army out and fight on ground of his choosing. So I've taken measures uh, to, to avoid the 18th Corps. It appears to be no threat to this army at the moment. But I do need to know of its movements. This General Grant seems to be quite elusive. <laughs> He's not only elusive, sir, he, he is everywhere. He has cavalry stretched for miles back, back from Hanover. Just everywhere. I fear that his intentions are to draw us into a siege before Richmond. And I assure you, sir, if we can avoid that, we should at all costs. This army has not been driven from the field. And I believe that as long as it's free to maneuver and fight, they can defeat any army that Grant may throw against us. I fear the unmanly war of numbers and attrition will be the tactic he uses. I must know where his army is positioned and how it's deployed. That is our great problem at the moment, just when we think we know where the nucleus of this thing lies. It proves to be too vast to circumvent even in a day's ride. He escaped us in the wilderness, again at North Anna, and then yet again at Spotsylvania Courthouse. But he cannot escape us forever. If you will forgive me, Captain, it's been nice, but I must attend to some affairs of the Army. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. It's nice to see you, sir. Good Be see you. safe. Thanks, sir. May God go with you. General Longstreet, sir. Hey, how are you? How are you? Doing? It's good to see you. Fine, fair, fine, fair. And you? Very well, very well. Oh, my goodness, you're looking well. Thank you, sir. It's been a while, has it not? Indeed, it has. Yeah. Quite a while since Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, my goodness, Albuquerque, yeah. <laughs> how in the world we managed to have a good time out there in that sand hole, I don't know, but we did. Yeah, you know, when I left Albuquerque there after resigning my commission, my intention was to go to Alabama and offer my services to her since she's the one who sent me to West Point. I got down to uh, Corpus Christi there on the boat to go over to New Orleans where we were going to catch a train and I ran into this fellow, or Tom, uh, two actually, Tom Lubbock and one, one is a Tom Gorey, Thomas J. Gorey, a Texan. And he convinced me just to go on to Richmond and uh, have an audience with President Davis. So uh, that's what I did and instead of becoming a major or maybe a lieutenant colonel as a paymaster, well I ended up brigadier general. Wow. I made an uh, infantry brigade, 4th Brigade, up at uh, Manassas Junction up there. Uh, it certainly, su certainly suits you, sir. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've, uh, we've gone through quite a bit here of late. Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen something happen here that, uh, well, some people predicted it was going to last two months. And some said six. I said from the outset, uh, 
this thing was not going to be a quick uh, a, a, a quick maneuver, no sir. This is going to last years. And here we've been at it, what, three years now, and still no end in sight. Not a bit. Yeah. And I said then, if uh, you know, you could look for three years. If we go five, you look for a dictatorship. Definitely. But, uh, but something's got to happen. Well, you know, the South is running out of manpower. Sure is. We keep uh, having these uh, victories, as I call them, but they're hollow victories. They're period. Because we win the day, we, we carry the field, but then when we leave the field, we've lost uh, 10, 20, 30, 40,000 in casualties that we can't make up. Uh, Federals, they've got uh, plenty of manpower sources that they can draw on, but we can't, and we keep losing people at this kind of rate. Uh, so they're going to get somebody in there up north that realizes this just a war of attrition, and they're going to pour it on us one of these days and just grind us down to nothing and knowing that we can't replace these people. And that might be the death knell for the Confederacy, I'm afraid, if we don't hurry up and get something done here pretty quick. You know, I heard a fellow one time say that Sam Grant looks to him like a man who is determined to run his head through a stone wall and is just about to accomplish it. <laughs> and uh, I figure that's just the best uh, description of Grant I could think of, you know. <laughs> Most definitely. And Sam, he's something else. Uh, I wish we could meet again on uh, friendlier terms. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Well, sir, good to see you again, sir. Well, it's been my pleasure. It's been my pleasure. It's been too long, and I guess you're staying out of the out of the limelight, I suppose we could say. And so therefore, I don't get to see much of you. Maybe a spell. Well, but once in a while, I'll slip by. Well, I hope so. Hope so. If we don't yeah. get caught up in this mess. We have Breckenridge and I both have recurring nightmares that we're going to one day get caught. Mm. Well, if that happens, well, then that's God's will. Well, that's true. You know, you know they are rough on people doing what you do. And they catch you to catch your goods on you. Well, oh, we're dead men if it happens. Oh, yeah, that's an, unfortunately, that's, I know that to be the truth. Yeah. We've got forged papers from both sides, and none of it will be any good. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, I wish the best of luck to you. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, you're quite welcome, sir. It's been an honor again. Yeah, it's an honor's mine, sir. And you take care of yourself now, and you stay low. Sure will. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. General Hunter, I've been advised of the situation and I'll back with him within a half an hour.